There you go. Hi. So Emily Montano, you're playing Mira in the Oh, movie? I thought we were taking a picture. No. <laughs> Here I am staying so still. Now, now it's opposite. Okay. okay, now you have me like how I pose for a photo. All right, yes. Okay, so don't move. No, no, it's a video. Okay. Kidding. It is a video. So you're playing Mira in yes. the... Uh, in the movie today, and I uh, used to play Tatsu Katana. I did. On Beware the Batman. That's right. uh, I was a big fan of that oh, show. Oh, I'm so glad. So glad to hear that. Uh, I'm sorry that it's over. What were your thoughts? How did you feel about the character of that show? Oh, I love Katana. I was actually so sad to see her go. I think that the way the storyline was written and kind of the arc that they gave the character was phenomenal. Like where she started and how she developed her relationship with. With Batman, and it was just an Alfred, and it was just I I know, and I don't know how much fans are, but I kind of had insight into where they thought they were going to take her, yeah. and that is phenomenal. And I don't I don't know if I'm really allowed to say it, but I go ahead. I don't think I don't want to get I don't want to I don't want to I don't want to say anything that I'm not supposed to. I know the show is gone, but uh, trust me, it was probably one of the coolest pitched ideas I've ever heard of in the realm of superheroes. I, I was just blown away. And incorporating the fact that, you know, she's a female. You right. know, so I I, I I was really sad that it ended. She was, I thought she was a very strong character and she was a great foil to Batman. I thought that they got along really well. And, That's right, yeah. And uh, it was a great... She great... pulled out a lot of characteristics in him in, his, in you know, earlier in his career that was interesting to me. You know, just like the fact that we use different villains too that aren't the most, you know, uh, you know that aren't the most recognized right. ones, although they are recognized, but they're not the ones that you see as much. And, and I think that's so neat because it, anytime you change up one thing in the villains and also in the sidekick character, you're going to get a whole different side and facets of Batman. Right. Yeah, well, it was a great job, and uh, you. you know, sorry, sorry about the show. Me too. It might come back, and, and as you hinted, maybe they'll get together. Is that um, what you were hinting at? Uh, no hinting that, but I just, in terms of um, where they were taking her character. Uh, kind of her ne the next level up you know like throughout the series you yeah. kind of saw her grow and, and it would have been cool to see the whole like realization do you watch uh, the show Arrow at all? I don't but I know it's I haven't had to, I have a I have a two and a half year old son and it's it's hard sometimes to get to watch but I have heard that it's amazing yeah Tatsu's on the show yes yes I did know that and this season uh, was so it's kind of fun as a fan of Beware the Batman to see the character. That was really my introduction to that character. So it was. It's interesting to see her now. So having, she came on to Arrow before after, Beware the Batman. Oh, okay. that's what I thought. That's so yeah, my introduction was Beware the Batman. I've, I've been aware of the character, but I didn't really know her that well. And to get to know her a little bit on that show, and then to see her in other mediums, it's like, oh wow, that's cool. Oh, so, that's great. So that's you're, well, now I have to really check it out. Yeah. Awesome. So I was just going to say that for me, you're at this point the definitive katana going forward. Uh, and what? And uh, so, what is your background with the DC universe now? That you're playing a different character there. Like, did you do different research? Was it um, was it more fun to delve into a different side of the DC universe? Oh, it's always it's always fun. Anytime you're involved with the DC universe, <laughs> that's a good thing. Um, I think for Mira, I mean, from a research point of view, I mean, I think it is. You know, I approach each character and I, I do separate research with them and I enjoy that process. So I liked that. I think with Mira, the thing that I enjoyed the most, well, two things. Um, the fact that, you know, she she's so loyal and protective of her people and her home in Atlantis that, you know, in, I, I as a, in real life am such a big fan of anything that has to do with the ocean. So I'm a huge scuba diver. And there have been lots of times when I'm like literally diving and I... I like wish I could stay longer and the fact that she can do that is really cool to me um, and I think with her relationship with Arthur Curry in this movie is really unique as well like you know, she gets to know him and start a relationship with him when he kind of has all of his like laws and foibles like showing and gets to kind of guide him through the whole huge discovery process about where he's from and what he's really capable of doing. And I think that is phenomenal. Anytime you get to engage like that with uh, another character who's going through some, uh, such a huge transformation, it's like such a gift to me as an actor. You get to work with so much and uh, so much humanity there.
Wow, that's great. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Thank you. Good luck on the movie. Thank you.